monsters! Heraldic Beast Ever Conway and Heraldic Beast Ale! I overlay Heraldic Beast Twin Headed Eagle and Ever Conway! Hello, everybody, and, uh, yeah. I have to say that I never used Tri Brigade, so I don't know they could outperform the deck that much. So, uh, yeah, that's, um, that's a thing, apparently. Anyway, uh, Heraldic Tri Brigades. The Heraldic Beasts didn't have too much to shine and when they did when they started the opponent decided to just um, surrender bummer anyway we're playing triple Leo because when it hits the graveyard it searches so it's fine it doesn't specify from where it has to be sent to the graveyard, just that it has to be sent. 
So it works with being detached, being discarded, being foolish, etc, etc. We're playing Heralding Beast EO because 1. It's a beast and 2. It's an extender. It can be summoned if you control 2 or more Heraldic Beast monsters, which is pretty decent. We're playing Twin Headed Eagle because it's a winged beast, another Tri Brigade uh, target. And it can attach Exceed materials to attach two Heraldic Beasts as Exceed materials to a monster that doesn't have any. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's also a thing. So we can just use the materials from a Zeus, all of them, and then just attach two more. Because fuck you, that's why. Uh, we're also playing the, I think, the best card in the archetype, which is Advanced Heraldry Art. This special summons two heraldic beasts and immediately XC summons. Just like that, no questions asked. Instant rank 4. We also have a themed Monster Reborn, which is also very neat. I really like to have a themed Monster Reborn. Gives the, the deck additional recursion. As for the Tri Brigade side of things, we are playing Triple Fractal, Double Keras, Triple Kit, Triple Nerval, and Triple Revolt. I think that's... That's decent. I seriously don't know how Tri Brigade... Now I know how Tri Brigades work. So, uh, that was a learning experience, at the very least. We're playing one Foolish Burial, so we can send either one of the Tri Brigades or Leo for a search. Triple Pot of Desire is because we don't play anything that bricks. We don't have any garnets. So, uh, yeah, this is basically a draw too. One Ten Key because Fractal. Yeah. Triple Ash Blossom and Triple Iron from because Negation. Also, big thanks to Shadow Realm for helping me a bit with this one. It really did help me a lot. Thanks, dude. Thanks, I, I really needed that help. As for the extra deck, we're playing one Zeus, one Castel, one Minerva. One Tornado Dragon and the F Zero package. Minerva is here for two reasons. Well, actually, actually for one, and that is milling. Because Leo and either of the of Kit and Nerval don't care how they are sent to, to the graveyard, just that they have to hit the said graveyard, so Minerva can actually be used to trigger Kit. Nerval or Leo, which is actually quite decent. Uh, Castel is here for spot removal, and since he can use both of his Exceed materials, he is one of the valid targets for Twin Headed Eagle to just give him two more, just because. Uh, we're playing the F Zero package because we have the Advanced Heraldry Art, which gives us basically very easy access to rank four and, by extension, to F0. As for our Link monsters, we're playing Triple Baron Blossom, Double Silver Sheller, one Desperate Doom Eagle, this was the Shadow Realm's idea, one Ominous Omen Shrake, well, two actually, and one Axisco Toka to finish out games. It's, uh, it's interesting. Okay, let's let's face it, this is a Tri Brigade variant, so it, it has to be at least somewhat decent. I was expecting much more from the Heraldic Beast side of things, but that failed unfortunately. But uh, it is a thing. So uh, yeah, that would be it for today. Thank you everyone for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Check out something out. Peace!